I just want to talk for a minute, talk as a school. And uh, first thing I want to get to, actually, you know, we all are individuals in here. We all have a voice for ourselves, and we all can be whatever we want to be if we really just take the time to do it. See, we all got a purpose. We all got a purpose. <laughs> just like that baby's parent. The purpose to make the baby. But what I'm getting to is not everybody knows their purpose. Or not everybody knows what they're put on earth for. So the question is, how do I find my purpose? I don't know my purpose in life. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But I see certain aspects that I have, you know, about myself and certain things that I can do better than anyone else. Not, not even better, that I can do good without trying. It's like everyone in here, y'all can do something. Something better than somebody else, just without no effort. Everybody in here is blessed with a certain gift and a certain talent. But it's just, it's about are we going to try to fulfill it? Are we going to, will we really take our time and, and put effort into the things we're blessed with? Are we going to take advantage of, of the positive opportunities that come our way? It's questions we also be asking ourselves. Because me, my, my, my personal motto is be who you are, and you are who you're going to be. Gets no more simple than that. You feel me? Everybody, everybody should have a dream. I have a dream. And my dream is to just unite my people. Not just my people, but minorities. I'm a black man. We have brown men in here and black men in here. And we are the most marginalized. Our, actually, in Los Angeles, we are about 8% of the population. But in prisons, we are 60% of the population. How does that sound? It's crazy. So we need to redirect our lifestyles. You know, we don't have to really change because nobody can change anyone. Nobody can change you but you. So one thing you can do is listen and apply because if you listen, you might hear something, oh yeah, that is smart. Maybe I should do this, and maybe I should change that. There's not nobody changing you. You don't want to be focused on what other people think about you because somebody else's opinion is not going to take you nowhere in life. It's not going to do nothing you need to do for yourself but distract you. Don't worry about what other people think about you because we are all individuals. Other people's thoughts are not going to make a living for us. I mean, if you worry about somebody's opinion, at least let it be your family's. And even so, you shouldn't even be worried about theirs too much. You know, sad as it sounds to say, because some of us, we all have our different situations we go through, you know? So, you really just got to learn how to embrace your struggle and just channel your aggression and your anger towards whatever you're going through and just push it all towards the positive in your life. Because we all can be whatever we want to be. <laughs> but I want to say a little short poem for you guys before I finish off because poetry is what I do. I rap and I say poetry. So I don't know my purpose in life, so I will just stick with my poetry. And hopefully, this will take me wherever I'm supposed to be. But this poem is called My Kryptonite. 
my brother, my kryptonite. You strip me of all of my might. You make my gut turn as I yearn for your safety. I wish that every move you make may be done safely. And I pray that you make it to all of your destinations. But I ask you, little brother, that you gain a little patience. First for the haters, cause they gonna try to break you down. And second for this process, cause it might take a while. And don't let these females distract you. Cause that's me and you both know that was a big problem of our dad. But whatever you ask of me, if I have it, you have it too. But I say to you, my brother, control your attitude because you should never be so disrespectful and you don't have to be so rude. My brother, my kryptonite, you strip me of all of my might. You make my gut turn as I yearn for your safety. I wish that every move you make may be done safely as I will quickly drop everything to come to your needs. Yet your anger is so bad you even want to fight me, but calm down before we run it. Just listen to your brother. You're too handsome and intelligent to be so belligerent. Just channel your aggression and you will be so impressive. I mean, you're such a good dancer. And I don't want to sound like a pastor, but I can't take losing another brother. That's why I always tell you, you should always know that I love you. No matter what, my brother, my kryptonite, you strip me of all of my might. You make my gut turn as I yearn for your safety. And I wish that every move you make may be done safety. Safety. I love it.